Hello everyone. Are there any Christians who are, who is doing everything perfectly? Like, I guess you may live until you are 80. So let's say you become a Christian at age 16. Is it possible to do everything perfectly from age 16 to age 80? Is it possible? Is it? Like, not saying anything wrong, not doing anything wrong, not being rude, not being aggressive verbally or physically, like doing everything perfectly from the time you get saved until the time you die. Have you known or do you know any Christian like that? I have not. I have not seen any Christian like that. If you read in the New Testament, the Apostle Paul, in so many words, like he was saying or wrote, like even though he wants to do what is right, he does what is wrong. And how many of us is greater than, greater than the Apostle Paul? How many of us? How many of us is greater than Peter? And those apostles sinned. Not saying that they chose a lifestyle of sin. I am not saying that. Okay. Some people may try to live for Jesus Christ. And they may do what is wrong. They may fail in some way. And after that, they may feel it is not worth praying. It is not worth worshiping God. It is not worth singing to God. It is not worth doing things of God because I feel like I am a hypocrite. I feel like God is not happy with me. I feel like There is no point in doing those things because I have sinned. Okay. Why did Jesus come in the flesh to earth? It was because of our sins, right? I believe God the Father sent Jesus for our sins. So, the fact that we sin, I believe we all sin, that is the reason, or at least one of the reasons, why Jesus Christ came to earth. So, if you feel like God is pushing you away because you have sinned, is that the truth? Why would Father God send his son to this earth for our sins, but when you sin, he is pushing you away or Jesus is pushing you away? That doesn't make any sense. I believe one of the reasons why Jesus Christ came to earth was to save us. 
save us from our sins. So if you are still sinning, why would Jesus Christ push you away? When he wants to save everyone, Listen, if there is anything trying to separate you from Jesus Christ, it is a demon. Right? If you are trying to do what is right, and let's say you fail many times, Why would Jesus Christ push you away? Kevin, that is my feeling, blah, 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 blah. And I think some people feel in this way. Just because you feel it, just because you think it, does it make it true? Myself, there are times, yes, there are times when what I feel and what I think is wrong. So, do my feelings, just because I feel something, does it make it true? No. We can't always trust our feelings and thoughts. We can't. If anything, actually what I believe we should actually do is align what we feel and what we think with the Bible. So if our feelings or thoughts go contrary to the Bible, we need to let them go, right? I can't always trust the way I feel. I can't, like, how do you actually know God is rejecting you? Like, how do you know that? Do you have some type of book or some type of whatever telling you exactly how God rejects people? I believe God can punish people, yes. But if God is punishing you, is he rejecting you? Does that make any sense? Stop going so much by the way you feel and I have to do the same as well. We can't go by the way we feel. We can't so much... Sometimes our feelings may be right, but when it comes down to things of God, we can't always go by the way we feel and think. While you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, I believe you are going to make so many mistakes. I have made so many mistakes from the beginning till now of trying to live for Jesus Christ. But it is not so much about how many mistakes you make, but persistence, consistency. Yes, I am making, for an example, yes, you may be making so many mistakes, but have an attitude of you will never give up. You will never stop trying. Right? Like, what do you have to lose in trying to live for Jesus Christ? How is it a waste of time? If you know to do right, but choose to do wrong, choose not to serve God because it is so difficult, aren't you giving up and choosing to go to hell? I may be wrong about this, but I don't think I am. 
even if you mess up a lot, but if you are truly trying to do what is right, asking Jesus Christ for help, so on and so on, I believe Jesus is going to honor that. If you look at every Christian person's life, I think you will find fault. I think you are going to find error. So if anyone is telling you they are doing everything right all day, every day, all day, every day, I believe that is a lie. I truly believe that is a lie. Because I believe we do things that we may believe is right, but it may be wrong. So we should always have an attitude of repentance, asking God to forgive us. When it comes down to Jesus Christ, I believe we can grow in the ways, in the rules of Jesus Christ. So if you are growing, are you perfect? If you are perfect, can you grow? Like, can Jesus Christ grow? Can God grow in perfection? No. Why? Because he is already perfect. If you are perfect, how can you grow? So if you are growing, if you are getting better in God and Jesus Christ, I think that means you aren't perfect, right? If I am growing, if I am getting better in patience, I am getting better in this and that, that means in those categories, I am not maxed out. I am not at 100%. So if I am not at 100% in those categories and more, how can I be perfect? So I believe there is a potential that I will err, where I will make mistakes where I may say the wrong thing or whatever else. But will I be sent to hell because I am not doing every single thing right? Really depends. If I am choosing to do what is wrong, if I am choosing to not change, if I am playing around with God, then yes, then I may go to hell in that instance. But if I am trying to change, if I am trying to do what is right, and I am still making errors, but I am repenting, asking God to forgive me, I believe that God will honor that and I believe I will go to heaven. Because if the Apostle Paul couldn't do everything right if the Apostle Peter couldn't do everything right if more and more of some saints I guess could not do everything right who am I not saying I should use that as an excuse to do what is wrong no since since Uncle Kev said no Christian can do everything right I am going to take advantage of that and do what is wrong. I am not telling you that. I am not telling you that. I am telling you to strive for perfection even though you may not be perfect while on this earth. So perfection, I would say, is the end goal. So. That is a goal that I believe we all should strive for. Even though you may not be perfect now, strive for it. So 
In saying that, yes, I believe we all are going to make mistakes. Yes, you may fornicate, you may do this wrong, you may steal from your mom, you may do this or that, but never give up. I think that is the whole point of this life. Not, not the whole point, but part of the point is never giving up. Do you understand what I am trying to say to you? Let me stop here. God bless you. God bless you.